Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have episode number one of the new Silent Hill 2 remake that just got released. And yeah, it was a lot of interesting settings that we actually had in here as in gameplay, graphics, audio controls, all that great stuff, guys. They added a lot of customizations. And one of the funniest things I could mention is definitely the, the James mask. You can do the pizza box pyramid head, which is kind of funny. And then you have the Mira the dog. Um, I don't remember that being in the original one, so I'm, I'm assuming that's some kind of Silent Hill reference. Maybe it's something to do with the amusement park or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, but that was that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to hit new game, guys. Let's get to it. All right. Upon starting the game, it looks like they do give you the different level of difficulties. You have the combat challenge separated. Remember that this option can be adjusted later in the settings menu. So that's good. So if you have a hard time, you can change it. This governs the difficulty of combat. The puzzle challenges. Puzzle difficulty settings affect the content of the game and cannot be changed mid playthrough. Hmm. So we have light, standard, and hard. I mean, standard is probably what the game was intended to be played as. Interface preset. Changes initial interface options. Remember that this option can be adjusted later. Oh, we've done this already. And then, yeah, we don't want that. They did add that here, so you can kind of check that out. Uh... So you have the default, and then you have the 90s look, guys, which is like the old school version, which we're not going to do any of that. So let's... Um, the default settings best represent the vision behind Silent Hill 2. See the settings below for a more fine-grained control over the gameplay. You can find more options, including accessibility, in the settings menu. All right, let's start the game, guys. I'm going to cut the camera off. Let's enjoy. Remember, you can always adjust the level of combat challenges to match your needs in the settings. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here it is. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Hold on. The game is not even... I do apologize for that random crash we had. But let's kick back off where we last started. You see the hair and the face. They put a lot of detail into his hands and hair. Look at that. In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? All right, looks like we kick right into the game. And actually, that transition from cutscene to gameplay was impressive. So that is really good. Uh, we do have some uh, pretty interesting, uh, like, cloud levels here. Volumetric clouds. The trees are looking pretty nice, which is interesting. We got a few falling particles from the sky. Possibly just leaves falling about. Or maybe some kind of thing with the fog or ashes or whatever. Uh, we actually take a really nice 
supposed to look over the bridge? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember if the original Silent Hill had fixed camera angles or free roam, but I don't remember this. Uh, one thing we do want to do, though, is probably check out our game stats here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely... <laughs> okay, render latency is extremely high. Um, but at PS wise, I, I, I think we're in the clear. I don't, I don't think this game lets you go over 60. So if that's the case, uh, we're going to head into the settings really quick and frame cap. We're just going to cap it at 60. We might as well. There's no point of going past that. Uh, let's see. We had all this in effect and I think we did do 150%. So let's jump that down to a hundred just to keep things more stable. We'll keep everything up super high so let's back out of there and let's take a look at this again guys i feel like it's running a little better but i, I don't know if it's like the yeah definitely camera transitioning is definitely a little better there we go it, i think it just took time to reload the textures again but yeah it looks like it's running nice but even while turning though it looks weird all right guys so we found a nice little sweet spot i think we are in the clear so let's go ahead and check around i believe the bathroom go in here right oh look at this guys we got our reflection why is this so dark in here do we have a flashlight help drink zero syringe zero how do i okay that's the photo of mary mary's letter but we don't have oh my god it is so dark in here guys hold i mean i get it there's that little tiny light but and look, it even has like the little brown stain, just giving it that like old fashioned look to it. Holy crap, that light transition dome. The paper on the wall. Look at the movement on it. Oh, nope. Let me get a good angle here. Look at. Oh, stop it. That's crazy. Like, that's. See, that's cool because that's a little attention to detail. A lot of games will overlook that, but yeah, I mean, we don't see like what's mounting the paper down, but we're not going to get that picky about it. But the fact that they actually added win effects. Now we never really got to see this way in the original. I don't think, because again, I, I believe the original was fixed camera. So let's, let's take a look around. We actually get to explore the game from a different perspective. Wait, wasn't there something here in the original? No. What is that? Looks like broken brass. What the what the hell is that? That was weird. All right, we're not finding. I wonder how the items are gonna look in this game, though. Probably gonna look much different. All right, so the ray tracing is definitely in effect, and yeah, the game's running good. Oh, oh, it won't let us go that way. Okay, so they're actually cutting us off. They will not let us explore. Um, if I'm not mistaken, is that a bike lane right here? the heck it's so weird man look at that you can see the trees and the water look at this wow it's like now see that is the power of ray tracing it is impressive but it is also very demanding so i wonder how the consoles are gonna run this game and i think it'll be only the playstation you'll probably need a ps5 pro to run this game if it even runs at 60 fps all right let's see here what we got I can always lower the resolution and run better, right? But yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Alright, what we got here? I hear something. You guys hear that? The road is closed. It's super dark in there, guys. And it does sound like there's some evil evil demons in there. I could have sworn there was like items. Guess we're not getting items yet. Okay, we got the white van here. Let's check out the white van. We can see the in oh wait, I see a sandwich box. Is that a burger sandwich box? Oh, wait. What is that? I got the little little drink. Oh, it's a happy burger. Look at that. Man, I love that. See, and look at we got little scratches on the vehicle. We got reflection on the van. Oh, wow, look at the look at the slider on that door though. Holy mackerel. That's like a it's like a refrigerator door, but on a van. Impressive. All right, I don't think we have anything to explore here. This is all mostly scenic, which is okay. Oh, the blue car. Hold on. We got the blue car here, guys. We do have a plate number here. We have 000THZ. What kind of vehicle are we looking at, though? I don't think we have a... We don't have a crouch button, do we? 
No, but we do have a dodge. Okay, I don't know if that uses stamina. It probably does. Oh, here we go. We got the map. Look at the inside of that vehicle, though. They put a lot of detail in the interior of this vehicle, but only because they they know the door is open, so they went into some more detail. Look at that. We just grabbed the map. It's not just a pop-up or a texture tile. It's a transition from object to placement in front of our character's perspective in its field of vision, which is really nice. So we have the map of the South Vale. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. We can look around the map. Wow, okay. We have nothing to do with this. So all we do is look and we zoom in. So where are we then? Oh, right here. Duh. We're at the observation deck. And of course, we have that huge road blockage going to Nathan Avenue. Too bad we can't just cut through there. So we're going to do like any original. We're going to cut through the graveyard and then do the Silent Hill Ranch. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Where's there? Oh, okay. So we have up for the map, guys. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. He put. Oh, and he puts it in his jacket. Oh, I mean, he shoves it all the way in there. Wait, do we have a look behind us button? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, they won't let us keep the camera pan to see the map placement. Look at his outfit, guys. His outfit's pretty impressive. He's got a brown belt buckle, blue jeans, a gray uh, dress-up shirt, which is nice. He doesn't do the final button tie, which a lot of us fellas don't, just because it just gives you that constraint feeling, and we don't like that. So, for whatever reason, this window is rolled down. We do see the seatbelts in the back seat. Okay, Trix. Stop looking at every single detail. But that's things that the devs appreciate because, like, there's so much work that gets put into games that people just... They don't look into it. They they just completely overlook it. That That is... That is really impressive. All right, we have this spyglass here. So, let's take... Can we look at it? No. We can't look at it. Probably because we need a quarter and we don't have a quarter right now. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to the Oluka Doluka Lake. So we're going to head on down. I like that we can explore. We have some uh, cans here. We don't know. And look, a bunch of cans and cigarettes. Looks like they were having a party down here. We got a trash can. I do like this level of freedom. So for the first time ever in Silent Hill 2, we're going to be able to, like, look at this. Oh my gosh, we can go off trail. I think we could in the original, but you just couldn't see. Okay, guys, we're taking the hiking trail. We're heading downward. I bet you frame rate's going to run better now, too. I'm looking at my FPS, and now we're at a solid 60, guys. See, the game runs good now. For whatever reason, up there, it was it, it had a little hiccups here and there, but now the game is running phenomenal. Okay. All right, we are heading down. It looks like it's getting a little darker. Man, I just can't get over the reflection of these water puddles. And you can hear the mud. Alright, we're still following the trail. Can we actually go up here? No, it's all blocked off. Alright, so we're gonna run it about, guys. Sounds of movement. See, now you can actually look. Before, you couldn't look. So I wonder if they added an object there. Alright, we're gonna kind of breeze it through here just a little bit. Look at the rocks, guys. Different levels of detail. All right, we're getting into a more foggier, darker section. We have growling. And... Oh my gosh, you guys hear that? You can even hear the direction that it's coming from, like, so on point. All right, we're getting that true Silent Hill fog. Now, I know this has got to be harder to pull because it's not fixed camera old graphic engine. Like, they had to do this with the latest Unreal. So, like, I do like the grass in the game. It's very unique. It's not all the same. All right, we do have something that's up ahead, guys. All right, let's go ahead and sprint that forward a little bit. It looks like a vehicle went through here. Yeah, you can see tire tracks. We get to see the save point from a different perspective now. You get that nice little red flare. All right, look at that. We actually get our current time date. I played for 17 minutes to get to the first save. Oh, it's like someone's 
Remember my skull. Did we save it? We did save it. Okay, I had to make sure we saved it, guys. So it does make that weird whom noise to let you know that there's a save point right there, which is good. All right, we just got out of that save section. Let's go ahead and move on ahead, guys. See what we get up here. Here's that, uh, here we go. We're getting into the next part, guys. Oh, we don't even have to press the button. We actually open it in real time. Oh, my gosh. All right, I think we have a cutscene. One moment. They made her look more like a kid in this version. Excuse me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But I think you should stay away. This, uh, this town, there's something wrong with it. And it's not just the fog either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought... My father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I, uh, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Okay, it looks like we got out of that cutscene and now we're right here. All right, let's see what happens if we talk to the character again. Let's go ahead and talk to the NPC. Did you, uh, did you want anything else? No, it's just this fog. Does it seem unsettling to you? I guess. Um, it's just through the gate and down the pass. You'll get there in no time. Good luck finding your... the one you're looking for. Yeah, I should probably get going. Oh, so okay, so now we're out of dialogue options. No longer can we talk to the NPC, guys. Okay. I do like the fog effect, though. It looks really nice. Um, dang, I just wish Dead by Daylight can pull a fog like this. That would be amazing, Dead by Daylight. Um, they just removing the entire fog in that game was... I felt like it took away what the game in, was, like, originally designed for. It, it definitely brought out lower visibility among both parties, the killer and survivor. So, yeah, I just... That, that would be cool. So, okay. And as we progress, you can see that the fog levels... No? What was that? You hear that? And look what the fog does to the distant textures. It plays with it. Oh, look at that. Where'd she go? Okay, she's still standing over there. I wonder if there was something else around here. Can we do anything with the cemetery? No, I don't think so. Alright, she said we had to follow the road. But you know me, guys. I like to... Oh. Oh, my. Look at that. There's a shovel there, too. Can't go into water, but we did get a... We are splashing it, though. They added water splash. Oh, what is over here? Oh, there's an invisible barrier, guys. We're, we're not supposed to be this way. But the fact that there's a dug up burial site here makes me wonder. Hmm, that is interesting. Why is that there? There might be a purpose for that. Okay, we could go in the water a little bit. Not too much. I'm stuck. Was that branch really? Yeah, we can't walk around that thing. Uh, let's see what we got here, guys. So far, so good. There is a gate on this side, though. There's nothing else to look at. Oh, wait. What about this building? Can we... Can we go into this building? Or it doesn't look like we can enter that. But there is engraving on it. All have thinned and fall short of God's glory. All right. So why... Why is that engraved there? There must be a reason. 
And it don't look like we can look inside. But it's all good. Would be cur it would be curious though to use a nice little camera hack tool and like just kind of no clip our way through there just to see if there is anything in there, which I highly doubt there is. I mean, if there's no reason for the player to go in there, then this, they, they're not going to add anything. So, but that could be something potentially I'm going to probably check out later. But yeah. All right. We're going to move on to the, or is this where we came in? Bro, I think this is where we came in. Yeah. So here's where the road splits. Or did I come in through that gate? But there's a trail this way. Oh, uh, no. We were at the right gate. Okay. Yeah. All right. We were going the right way, guys. That was that was my mistake. My wrongdoing. All right. I love that we can open it and that, that there's no, like, loading screen in between. The music is getting tense. It's getting epic. We can hear the music. We have a broken wall here. There we go. A little bit of detail. Give it that little horrifying experience. Giving us a diverse atmosphere. Got a cornfield. In a lot of video games though, sometimes the cornfield can be very horny. What the hell? You guys hear that? Okay. We're getting some sound effects here. We do have a barn house though that's interesting what happens if we step in these puddles oh there's actually water splash what bro and our boots are wet afterwards yeah because look we're still making that's we hear some oh there's a scary scarecrow right there look at that all right we got a nice little truck here as well this truck is actually pretty detailed. I, I like that. And we can actually walk around it. The inside even looks good. It's got individual objects in the back. It's not just a single texture just kind of compiled together. Like they actually, you could tell they laid them upon each other, which that's impressive. And the trees have like different looks to them. They're not all the same. I wonder if we can go into that barn house. Now, now I'm curious. All right, so right over here, we do have the ranch, which is interesting indeed. A solid hill ranch. All right, so we do have Silent Hill Ranch, which I don't think we're going to be able to get into. I do like that it's pretty well detailed. I mean, we're only probably seeing what we can see from the player perspective. I'm sure there's probably not much else to it. But the fact that we can actually see it, though, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. All right, so moving on. There's definitely a lot of detail heading towards Silent Hill, but I'm, you know, this is probably the early development of the game. They probably put a lot of extra work here as compared to the rest of the city, but we're going to find out though. All right, we got another white van, which this could possibly be the same van we saw from earlier. But this one looks a little bit cleaner. It doesn't have the rust stains like the other one, and it doesn't have, doesn't have the same food items on the inside. It might have the same sliding door, which it does. All right, so what do we got there? It's like a little greenhouse or something. Okay, so here we have it. Looks like... Looks like a nice little lumber yard that we're heading towards. I don't know if we're missing items or we're missing anything. I, I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. I like that there's like grass and moss growing alongside this some of the wood here too. Gives you that extra level of detail of immersion. This is a gate we are not going through, guys. This is completely sealed. No trespassing. Visitors must register at the main office. Construction area. Keep out. Okay, we'll keep out. We don't need to go in. It's all good, man. It's all good. I don't think there's any items we can grab yet. No. Oh, and actually get a better view in here. See, I never knew. I, I I don't remember any of all this. That thing is so noisy. Are we going through that door or are we going through this? What is this? 
Yeah, these are definitely areas we're not going to be able to enter, guys. But it would be interesting to see. It would definitely be interesting to see. All right, what we got? We got another door. Here it is. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Auto parts? Or do we go through that red door? No items. Okay, so we can't go in there yet, guys. We do have to head to the auto parts store. I do like that. Look at this. Doors are just opening. Now, that could be a bad thing. That means now enemies will probably be able to go after us in areas we never thought they could before. All right, we got a nice little dumpster area out here, guys. Bunch of trash and garbage. Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare keys in the drawer. I like the paper moving effect, though. I'm definitely reading it. And you still get the subtitles. They did made it to where you can read it without having the transcription, which is good. I'm happy for that. Uh, a lot of these games heavily relied on transcriptions uh, due to the fact of low poly, low texture uh, objects in game. So you weren't able, they weren't very legible at all whatsoever. So that, that is a nice, that is a nice hat on. Nice little touch. What's on this side? Oh, Hello. there's a broken window. Anyone in here? Okay, so it looks like, I guess we weren't able to go through the front door. It's so dark, though. Holy crap. We can't see a thing, guys. Like, if something's in that dark shadow right now, we wouldn't be able to know. There's nothing there. They said it was in the drawer, so it had to be near the desk. All right, we got ourselves a little... Oh, we can actually turn our hands. Look! Now that's also another nice little touch. All right, so once we grab it, Kind of just puts it away. Uh, just like any mechanic shop, guys. They got some uh, calendar posters. You know, it's pretty pretty typical. Door was locked. So we weren't able to go through this way anyway if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't I don't like how dark it is. Holy moly. All right. Now that we have the key, we can exit the auto parts store. And we're going to go ahead and exit. Okay. He's actually turning the object. My gosh. Look at this. There's another store right there. I don't know what that is. I don't think we're going to be able to go in there, though. Yeah, it looks like it's sealed. All right, that looks like a little junkyard right there. Man, there is so much fog in this game. What was that weird little static we were just getting? can hear all the crazy noises in there guys we do not want to go in there all right we are making way so apparently there's no items we can grab from here on out so far we are still yet to grab anything okay this is different i love that the gate's like half open we kind of just make our way through here guys which is nice We actually have water coming out of there. Bouncing off the rock and hitting into the sewer. Okay. All right. We're heading in more into a deeper fog. We have a sign here that has like nothing on it. I never knew this existed. This is like a little canal. Interesting. All right, guys. We are, we are making way. Looks like there might be something up ahead. I see something. Oh, that's just a water splash. Okay, never mind. All right, there's not much of anything here. We can see that water splash, though, from a super long distance away. And see, now all of them are running exactly the same, which is impressive. Somebody broke one of the cable lines there. You see that? Somebody's going to have no internet. All right, we got a power box here. That looks like a dead end. Okay, so this is definitely a dead end. Do we see a little trailer behind there, though? Okay. Good, good, good. So we got the road runner. Are we going through there? Nope. 
That is completely sealed off, guys. We are not going into the Roadrunner. We cannot check. We cannot check the U.S. mailboxes. Why is that that branch moving all weird? You see that? What the heck? Moving funky. So they tend to move when you get near them. Probably just the because of the player model collision that's going on. That's probably what's happening. We're gonna have like a little invisible hitbox that we do not see. All right, what do we got here? So much fog, man. I do like the way the streets look, though. They look nice. Okay, we got a blue fence, pallets, sparrows, a bench. We can take a break. Nice. Looks like we got the... Oh, cutscene. Oh, got ourselves another little map that we can investigate here, guys. So now we left the observation deck. We... Went through this long tunnel and now we are right here on where is that nathan avenue oh right there yeah we weren't able to take that road but now we're right here we're on sanders street okay got ourselves a nice little map of the east south or east side of south vale and the west side of south vale okay so different areas man look at this fog holy mackerel they really executed it very good with this and i know this was a big concern for them because of the newer graphics engine, they were able to do it. So that is impressive. So if we look at the map, left is probably a dead end. So I do want to check the dead end first. A little restaurant here, right? Is that, or is that a boutique flower shop? Flower shop, 70 years of business. Holy crap, we can go inside. I, and the way that door just shut, I, 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 I did not expect that we can get inside. The flowers are dying, so that's a sign that no one's been here for a while. There is a nice little letter here. All right, let's check that out. I love that we can read it, though, without transcription. Mr. Cassandra, a customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. I tried to explain it's bad luck, but he, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off. Looked at me like I wasn't even here then he just left said he be back to pick him up later i just wanted to let you know since i might be gone by then okay and then if we can't read it for whatever reason we do get the transcription which is nice um that 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 is interesting so we got that all right we're gonna check the little boutique or boutique office here guys looking good Bunch of dead plants. Nothing to worry about there. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. We do have a shopping cart. I don't think we're going to worry about that either. I do like the little glass. What was that? You guys, did you guys see that? What was that? I just saw a little critter. I would be freaking out right now. What is this? That's a sign of don't go in there. Where are we at on the map? We are right here. All right, there's nothing else to check here, guys. So this is going to be a dead end. And we still went out the door because of our curiosity. This one's actually got a busted window in it. Look at that. Got some flat tires. Yeah, I know in the classic ones, there's always... A bunch of Easter eggs. Broken flower pots everywhere, guys. All right, we're back into the front of the shop. Uh, we do want to check around a little bit more. Make sure we're not missing anything. All right, so this, this is going to be a dead end on both sides. Are all these cars got flat tires? Even the back doors actually got door handles on them. Okay, so there's a bunch of road work signs here. And we actually have pay phones in the game, guys. Look at this. Hope that we don't see too much anymore. But what's below it, though? For four minutes, for one dollar. Fifty cents for local. Local cash. I don't know what to say. It's hard to read. But it, the, the stickers are legible, though. That, that's pretty nice. All right. So that would mean this section is... I do like that it marks the map. Okay. 
Yep, so we're just going to head into the intersection of Lindsay and Sanders Street. Let's go and check that out. There was nothing at the dead ends. No items, no nothing. But there wasn't much there to worry about. What's here? Anything? No. We can't grab any of those as well. Bunch of post office boxes. Okay. That's where we just came from. The not Oh, wait. What's here? No, we're not. We're not doing anything with that one. Oh, wait. There's an opening here. Oh, no. That's... We just came from there. Okay. All right. We do see a stop sign. Oh, we got the stuff in the street. This ain't good, man. No, we're not going through that door. All right, so now we're at this intersection. I think we're going to go this way first. Nope. This area is completely blocked off. Look at this. They were doing some heavy construction here. Okay, we hear sounds behind there, but we're not able to... We're not able to get back there, guys. So that is out of the equation. Yeah, we do have a door here. Genuine optical. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, no, never mind. Got shutters there. We're not going that way. All right, and this way we have Sanders. Wait, did it mark that? Okay, it did mark that it was empty. So let's see. How is there just so many of these, though? The Gonzalez Mexican Restaurant. The Mexican food. And Los Sorosas Tacos. All right, so those two areas are blocked off. We have no choice but to go up Lindsay Street, which is what we're about to do now. Let's go do that really quick. Okay, here's where we're seeing something on the ground here, guys. Not looking too good. We're going up Lindsay Street. Couple buildings this way. That reminds me of Silent Hill 1 a little bit. Oh man, they left a bunch of boxes at their door. Look at that. Jeez. Yeah, these are all sealed off. So we're definitely in a uh, predefined location where it wants us to go. Yeah, that door is going to be locked. We're not getting through there. It's not marking those, though. Hmm. Okay. So then where are we heading to now? Oh, my gosh. That is more of that stuff. What the heck happened here? Why do I feel like something's about to jump out at us? What do you guys think? Nah, I thought they would give us a look. A little Easter egg. There is a door open though to the right in the bar tavern. Okay, so if the water's dropping, does it drop on our character? It does, but I don't. It's it's not like splashing off of them or anything. All right, that's the Texan Cafe. We can't. We can't even get in there anyway. It is completely blocked off. Oh, cutscene mode, guys. Hey, don't go chasing that thing, James. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, James? The creepy music is coming about. All right, guys. 
We're getting the creepy vibes now. This is it. We are entering Silent Hill. Can we actually? I might have to change camera sensitivity here a little bit. Wow, that's got no no written all over it. The hell? Wait a minute. This is different. Oh, are they really switching it up with the remastered? Hold on. Why does the screen do that? Okay, hold on. In the original, we went through here. Not this time. All right. So it definitely wants us to take that alley approach, which we will not do yet. I do want to check around out here and see if we have a dead end, which I think we will. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. We, we definitely got a dead end here, guys. Well, luckily, there's no falling because we would have been dead. Okay, we have no choice, guys. We got to take that alleyway. Let's go do it. Here it is. Look, we got a bunch of that gooey stuff. And right here on the bottom. We are now heading in. Watch your back, James. All right, we do have that 360 degree angle thing, which is cool. Okay, we're following something and we're tailing it. So we better watch ourselves. We don't have any burgers or hot dogs on the grill, guys. That's a no-go. I love how they block the stairs and such, right? We're in somebody's backyard right now. We should not be here. We are definitely trespassing private property. Somebody didn't clean their gutters. Or there's not even a gutter. It's just a... Uh... Alright, here we go. We do hear something, guys. Something is growling. Are we able to get an overview? We hear it, but we don't see it, guys. Can we walk through the sheets? Nope. They are like solid as possible. We're going to open that fence and we're probably in trouble. However... Why is he moving like that? Can we go up here? I'm trying to get a visual, guys. I can't get a visual. We're hearing it, but we are not seeing it. It is definitely close, though. Here we go. Oh, it's right there. Oh, we see it. We don't have a crouch button. Why does it look so weird? That's what these things look like on an updated graphics engine. Hello?
We don't even have a weapon yet. How am I supposed to fight that thing? Something just pulled on it from there. Okay, okay. We, we, we have encountered our first enemy here. No weapons, guys? Oh, gosh. Give me something, man. We're gonna have to go in there. But let's double check. Look around. Make sure we're not missing nothing. I think we're good. All right, we're going inbound, guys. We are going in. Why are all these... Oh, never mind. I thought they were drawings. They're just like random... Random bags. Oh, it, did it just pull it right into underneath the garage? Look around to find objects marked by white cloth. Those are objects or traversals you need to enter or you can interact with. White cloth? Oh, like that? Is that what that is? Okay, so this is different. I guess we're, are we really about to crawl under? Yeah, we are. You're going to crawl into a dark garage. Oh, that, that garage is broke. That could have been, that could have fell on our back. Like what happened to that officer in Resident Evil 2. Oh no. Okay, now we have a little crevice we have to crawl through, guys. I do see a save point, so that means we're probably about to get into our first battle here. All right. Take way. Exactly what we did. We're in someone's bedroom right now. Just borrowing. I do like the level of detail, though. Look at this. They really went in. All right, we're going to save it again. Save game. I love how they kept the old-fashioned traditional saving method, which is nice. Overwrite. Game was saved. Nice. All right, we're moving inbound. Let's make our way through, guys. All right. It's a little bit dark in here, but we can still see. At least it's not like super pitch black dark. Looks like there's a duffel bag underneath the table, but it's not something we can grab. All right, what is this? Nutrition supplements for adults only. Seriously? Okay, so we got one health drink. So we press Y to drink it. Okay, we don't want to press that by accident. I'm pretty prone to doing that. I do that in a lot of these kind of games. They're using newspapers to cover the window. Why? Oh, no. I think that's the radio, guys. That door is going to be locked. We're inside of a farmer complex? I think so. Ooh, we're not going upstairs. We're about to get attacked. We are about to be attacked. How much you guys want to bet? There it is. Here's our first enemy. Oh, we got a piece of wood. Get back, get back. Did we get it? That is exactly what you... That's exactly what you saw, bro. Right, do we have a power hit? Or is that it? Oh, you can keep hitting it? Oh, no, that was it. Done deal. Oh, they give you the luxury of satisfaction to keep smacking the enemy. All right, that was our first encounter. All right. 
What do we got here, guys? So we got our first weapon. He puts the weapon away somewhere. Where did he put the... Oh, I'm about to say, please don't let the enemies disappear. I hate games that do that. All right, so the weapon does kind of just disappear magically, but it is what it is, right? Not too bad. Door's going to be locked. We're not going that way. We took down our first enemy. That felt great. Okay. We do got the radio to kind of give us like an indicator of like if there's danger nearby. All right, we crawled our way through. That door is going to be sealed. Oh, I'm assuming a large med kit. Or no, never mind. Wow, they really make that syringe syringe like, right? What does that do? I don't know what the syringe does. Restores vitality by relieving pain. Highly effective. Okay, so I'm assuming maybe full health, small portion of health. All right, we got memos. Equipment, a wooden plank studded with nails, an improvised weapon. At least it tells you right then and there. A small portable radio. It emits static when monsters are nearby. Wait, did we get the... Okay, so this was the letter he read at the thing. And then this was... Mary's photo. Can we move it around? There's nothing on the back. Nothing changes when we stare at it. Okay, we're going to put that away. All right, that's it. Press right trigger to break the glass. Oh! Now we're jumping out. I'm assuming we're safe for finally in the city. that mary i think that might have been mary guys okay all right we just heard something on the radio we're not quite sure 100 of what it might be but this is when we further investigate and we are now entering silent hill this is probably where the game starts to get serious guys i think we're kind of out of the tutorial section now but we have to watch ourselves we were in there before and here it is once again all right now that we're actually here looks like we're on martin street we're gonna make our way down don't know where we're going to have to head from here, though. But we do have a couple areas of interest. So let's check those out. All right. So now we have to make sure we look around. Items. I don't know if the items highlight or not. But oh, wait. It's this. Okay. That's doing something. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like collectibles or something. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, I think that's the old school Silent Hill soundtrack. Wait, can we break car windows? Oh, we can break the car windows. That's crazy. Oh, oh, we'll take that. We just can't break the front window. Nope. That front window was indestructible. Okay, so we tap it and we hold it for heavy melee. No, nah, it's like the same. I don't think we have a heavy, heavy hit button there. Okay. What about the van? Let's get that wood grain. Okay. What about? So that's pretty cool. Wait, anything back here? I don't know. These blue barrels are making me think of some kind of video game I played. I don't know, like Half-Life or something. I remember the blue barrels for something. I, I just, it's not ringing a bell right this very moment. Oh no. What is this? Uh, I don't like what DLSS is doing with some of these objects. I see it. It's pretty. Is that a that dead body? Bar Neely's. Please cover before striking. Neely's bar. Well, oh, I like that. He like marks it on his map. So now we want to go to Neely's bar, and that's exactly where we're going. Okay, cool. Pretty straightforward. Not bad. 
Can't break the pallets. That's out of the equation. If you're reading this, leave. This place is not what it seems. Sometimes you just have to look behind. Okay. Was that implying to something? I think we have an enemy nearby, guys. Oh my gosh. What the heck? I see a crawling, man. I do see a crawling. But that thing did crawl away. Here we go. We're heading inbound. Do have a save over there, which we're going to need to do. Did we break this? No. It looked like something we could have break. Uh, so they brought us in here so we can save the game. And that's what we're going to do here. This is it. We saved the game. We're heading back into the city. We're going to want to keep our weapon handy. Because we know for a fact something's about to jump at us. Big time. Where is it at? Come here. Yeah, this fog really does help hide the enemies. There it is. There it is. We boned it. All right, it's hiding. Where are we at on the map here? So when you're in a map, you're actually still in the game. You have to be careful. So we have to make a right, make a left. Is that what we're doing? I see a white wall there. So we're going to go this way first. I do want to get this to come on the map. So we have the gentleman salon. Looks like we got a hairstylist section there. Our radio meter was going off. Oh yeah, look, he brought that right out. Is it underneath? Oh, there it is. Come here. Come here, you. What the hell are you doing? Come here. Get out of the ground. Get out of the ground. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Huh? Oh, it got me. It hit me. How do I check my health? I don't know. Do we have a health meter? I don't know how they went about with it. Okay. Nothing in this vehicle. Okay. Hands rattling. Oh. This was the tavern we saw earlier. Well, then we're about to check that bad boy out then. Let's head inside that tavern, guys. I'm real curious to see what's in there. But we do have a blue fence here, too. Uh-oh. We're not going in from that way. Probably not safe here, but we do need to investigate and see if there's something worthwhile. We're not going through the front door. So being in here, I kind of get... Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at the reflection on the bottles. That is impressive indeed. Okay, we do have a cash register here. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, we got a receipt. What do we got here? Oh! Oh, no.
Stay down. Stay down. What the? You can't be sticking up on me like that. What's wrong with you? Well, there's a brick right here. Why is there a brick right here? Well, not much we can do there about that brick, guys. All right, we do have a door back here. Maybe that door, we can open it. No, that is a no-go. Looks like we're just going to go ahead and head right on back out where we were. But this side was going to be a dead end. Oh, I like the little check mark. So it tells you you're actually fully completed it. Nice. What about the enemy we took down? The enemy actually stay there? Or does it come back alive? That's impressive. Okay. I like the body decals. It they stay. Okay, we do have a window to go through. There's something in there. Oh, this was the bar. Oh, it's not the bar. It's the Andy's bookstore. So, do we want to go into Andy's bookstore or whatever this is? What the heck is that? I just kill it from here? Oh, there's like different ways to go in. Like, if I would have went into that window, I probably would have been in trouble. All right, so we made it inside. There's like those little buggy things, big giant cacarachas. We don't want those guys. What is this? Pile of bloody bows? Oh, we don't smack it. Man, these are old school washer and dryers. Holy crap. We got another cash register. Somebody already beat me to it. That door is going to be closed. It does not open. Oh, there's another creature out there, guys. Not good. Watch our backs with that one. We do have a window here to go through. We need to check and see what's in here. Okay, so we're inside here. And again with the newspapers. Yeah, we weren't going to go through the front door even if we wanted to. Okay. After thorough examination, a team of experts, dowsers from the association, concluded the area surrounding the now historic Wits coal mine to be highly active. They also expressed their hopes for further research and exploration of the gorge. And additionally, the idea was met with the resistance from the local community, which claimed that the nature of the association research would hinder tourist activity in the area, questioning the credibility and our research and hiding behind day trippers seems like an excuse to prevent us from seeing what's really out there. At the time of publishing, there is, exists no evidence supporting. Okay. All right. Well, then, then that's that. What's back here? A locker with nothing in it. Okay. But there was nothing in here? Just, just that. Well, I guess we're done here, guys. That concludes the Andy's bookstore. Let's go ahead and move on and see what else we could find. There was a creature near here, so we have to watch ourselves. Main news, take one. It won't let me take one. Alright, that area is going to be blocked off. So let's go this way and make a left. There it is. The payphone? It works? We don't have a crouch option. Uh, it, I think it's going to know we're here. It probably already knows we're here. So let's get ready for a battle. 
Come here, buddy. You have no idea I'm here. I'm the stick behind it. I'm, I, I see red around me now. The Vegetti effect. I wonder what that means. We gotta find out what kind of how much health we need. I don't know how much red we can have before death. But anyway, we did take down that enemy. Oh, what the? What the heck? Came back alive! How much of it do we need to hit? Is it dead this time? The radio is still going off guys, we are not alone. Alright, we were able to go in there though, so that's that's different. Okay, our character is holding his stomach, so he is not in the best state of health. Oh, we don't have a way to save it. So they do that old-fashioned traditional save method. There's something in there, guys, so we gotta watch ourselves. Oh, it's right down the street. Did it just try to smack the door open? Where was that save at? This way to the left? We better go save it. Alright, I made it to the save section. Save that bad boy up. Game was saved. Nice. Alright guys, so I'm going to conclude our first episode here. We're going to be doing another one, so probably going to cut this out or maybe keep it. I don't know, but we'll do the next episode here in a second.